Hey, my hey, boy. My boy. Hey, mama. How are you? I'm good. I'm all right. Oh, I see you having a little trouble with the... <laughs> <laughs> you know, this business of... of, of, of uh, what you, you call it, it's too much for me. Trust me. Even me, I don't know how to use this one. You don't know. If you don't know, then I'm in trouble. I'm <laughs> <to you>. <laughs> <laughs> I was counting on you to tell me how this thing was. You telling me nah, that I'm, you don't know. No, nah, I'm just as bad as you, ma. <laughs> That's not good. We can't hang out together like that. <laughs> how are you, boy? I'm all right, ma. How's everything? Well, I am rehearsing in New York, actually. Um, You're always rehearsal. rehearsing. Yeah. <laughs> But this, this, this time around is completely something different. It's a musical theater that, that my daughter wrote. She wrote the piece oh. and then she wrote the music too. So I'm working on it. <laughs> she wrote the music too? Yeah. She's good. I didn't know, I didn't know that. Oh, man. You, if you both meet, I'm dead. <laughs> That's the end of me. <laughs> yeah. Nothing will stop you guys. I'm going to oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab your mother. We're going to go, okay. Let's go. Let <laughs> them work. <laughs> mm. So it's about time you meet my child, though. Exactly. I'm, anytime. Anytime. I was supposed to come to dinner after the show, but then she yeah. went too crazy. Yeah, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to nah, make it I'm happen. Coming, I'm coming back to Paris, and uh, I think for the off-white show. Ooh. Oh, so, yeah, so we should do dinner. When are you coming back? Um, I don't know yet, though. I'm not sure, but it's like at the end of the month. It's like when, yeah. the, when the off white when the off white show is. Okay, whatever it is, I, I hope I, I think see you next week. It's next week. It's next week. Next week? No, you don't see me. I'm in New York. Why do you do that? Come uh, see me in New York. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be in New York too. How long are you gonna be in New York? I'm here till March six. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna see you in New York. Man. You have to come. So everybody was asking me before you come in. What about the song with Burner Boy? I'm like, I can't be alone talking about that song. Let's Burner talk to you about it too. Come on. Everybody's I asking mean, that... me, this song is so great. What are you talking about? I'm like, we have to explain this song again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the song basically explains itself. Yeah. That's so what I said. That's... Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very uplifting song. And it's, it's a song. It's, one, it's, part, it's basically my favorite song right now. So. Yeah. Me too. Everybody's asking <laughs> about what is the inspiration of the song. I'm like, it's Burner Boy. <laughs> so no, it's now, Africa. Yeah, no, no, no. They ask the question. I'm passing on to you. You have to explain now. I've done my share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you say, it's an uplifting song. Is yeah. it? Is yeah. The the uh, the whole theme of the song. You know, the pride of being African and being who we are. And, you know, pride of oh. taking it to where we're taking it to. Yeah. You know, and also yeah. looking, looking left and right and also seeing supporters and seeing those who don't have to be You know, but it's going to happen regardless because a tough like Steel and Met, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. I mean, you're yeah. right about it. I, that's what I was saying. We are not, you are not, we are not proud enough of what we, what we, who we are, and it's exactly. something that really breaks my heart because we have so much potential. We are so talented. It's crazy, and it's mind blowing that we ourselves doubt ourselves. We shouldn't be able to doubt ourselves. We should just go saying, "Okay, here we are. We're taking it all. You like it or not, we're here." Exactly. And that, but that's what we're doing now. You get me? That's what it's time so, for. That's what, that's what this song represents. So, yeah. We have a theme song for it now. <laughs> it has, yeah. I'm, I, yes! I'm so happy we have that song. You know, for years since I've started my career, it has always been that most of the time I will feel like I am the only one carrying this on my shoulder. And I was dreaming of a day where a new generation is going to come and show really the African I've been talking about for so many years. 
and it will be absolutely clear and non-apologetic at all. And this song is just, just exactly what I've been saying for so many years. And now people can hear it day in and day out, sleep in it, dance on it, eat on it, love on it, whatever. We are, <laughs> we are, we are proud of it. <laughs> Most definitely. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm very honored to, you know, to be a part of it. And yeah. So how I'm do you discover my music, actually? Me? From, I never asked you the question. From my mom. <laughs> <laughs> from my kid. sister? Yeah, yes. when I was a kid, like we had all the we had vinyls and stuff, and it was it was always on TV, you know, <laughs> and all of it. And like it was, you were basically the you were on TV every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like as when I was growing up as a child, you know. So, wow, yeah. I'm glad I'm glad your mom was smart enough to sh to put you in in contact with my music. I love exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. I owe so much to the mothers in Africa. Every time I meet an African person, my mom love you. She used to listen to you. I say, man, blessed, blessing to all the mothers in Africa. I say. <laughs> Definitely. Funny man. enough, there's a, actually this funny story, right? I've actually never told no one this story. Like, I, I must have been about, what? I must have been about eight years old. No, it wasn't eight. Probably seven or six mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. And I was with my mom in, um, I think it was Cote d'Ivoire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Cote d'Ivoire. It's some hotel called, um, I think it was Mercure or something like that. Mercure. Mercure. Yeah, that's, what, that's what it was called at the time. And I walk in the room and I see Brenda Fassi with my Ooh, mom. You met Brenda? I love her. Yeah, she was her and my mom were. I don't know what they were on. <laughs> they're crazy. But yeah, they're yeah. in the room. They're, they're crazy the good. Yeah, they're chilling and talking and just there. And then they're trying to get rid of us, right? <laughs> so basically, I think Brenda bought me, a, I think she bought a game or something. She bought some kind of game for me or something. Because she gave me the money to go out and get it. So I did. And then by the time I came back, it was literally the most magic thing. Like everyone, they were literally just dancing, and you were on the TV, and it was just, it was wild. <laughs> I, you know, that I met Brenda Fassi when I went to South Africa for the first time in 1996, and she came to the show. She walked into my dressing room, and she go, "I can't believe I'm seeing Angelique," and then she fell on the ground, and I was like, "Oh no, no, no! Please, please come!" She said, "You don't understand." I said, well, you don't understand how much I love your music too. Because when Brenda came in, I felt less lonely. I'm like, yes, look at this energy, man. Look at this voice. I was droning around. I'm like, oh, and people look at me like, you are going crazy because of Brenda Fassi? I said, you don't understand. She's come from Africa. And she's, oh, she's a legend. And I, I'm not telling you, I was sorry. I was raving about it. And people look at me like, this woman is crazy. I say I'm not crazy. You don't understand. You can't. We both had that. the same haircut at the time. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. hers, hers, when she went crazy, she she bleached the eyebrows, even like the hair on her. On the <laughs> That's Brenda. She bleached for you, all that. I and mean, she was she... in a bikini and stuff because it was. I, it was I swear, the last time I saw her, she was singing her new song, and Nelson Mandela was there. It was in the world show. She went and sat on Nelson Mandela's lap. I said, you got no shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Nelson Mandela stood up and they started dancing. I was, I'm like, me, I would never be able to. Oh, yeah. Now I remember <laughs> what her and my mom were talking about that they wanted us to leave. They were talking about Awilo. <laughs> oh, Awilo. That's another one. We started together Awilo in France. <laughs> that guy, he came in. He was such a ball of energy. And he has a different way of seeing his music. He has a different mindset. And I'm like, yes, yes. Every time I see an artist from Africa doing his stuff in a way that he just blew her out, I take pride in it, Bona. Yeah. It makes me proud so much because I've been taking so much heat, so much, all the stuff that, I mean, at some time I'm like, oh man, please, can somebody help me out here? 
And that's what it is when you are the, the, the first person that is there. But I, I was lucky to meet William Makeba that have helped me through too. She has guided oh, me through it and telling me, don't do this, don't accept this, don't do It is amazing. I met her in 1989 and she was telling me, keep on doing it. Don't wear a watch on stage. This, and she gave me so many advice. And last time I saw her was one year before she passed away. And she was telling me, well, now I can die because you're here. I said, no, don't say that. I don't want to hear about that. I want you here. I don't want to hear about it. And Man, I'm telling is, you, this... Awilo, you, you, you are something else. The first time I heard about you is what, is what it was when you did the Wombo Lobo. I'm like, who's that guy? <laughs> I'm like, who's that guy? I'm liking my song. You make me listen to my song differently. And that's what music is. When somebody touch your work and do it differently, it takes the, the work to another level. It brings you somewhere else that you never foresee yourself. And I'm oh, like, man. oh, man, I want to see you Making me blush. <laughs> no, it is true, but I'm not telling you. Me, I don't do bullshit. I tell you, I, I, know I don't this. like somebody. I know that's why this. I have so many enemies here, right? I'm like, I don't like you. I tell you, I don't like you. But that song was something, and I'm like, come again? My music? Like that? Hell no. And then I would listen and listen and listen. At one point, my husband said, okay, can we move to something else? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, I mean, I mean I'm really I, honored to be a part Paris. of this, man, you know, to share the greatness and, and just the whole, just the legendary ambience, you know, just soaking it in man it's amazing but you man. know Bonner, you know one thing i want to tell you after your show in paris because there's a difference between listening to an album and seeing somebody perform and for me i differentiate both you can do wonder on album but what makes you a different artist an artist in whole is when you're on stage and you deliver and sometimes some artists they are able to do it in studio and on stage it becomes impossible and i come to your show and i'm like Oh, my boy is killing them all. And I'm liking it. I'm sitting down there looking at him. And people looking at me like, who's this lady? I'm like, hmm, I'm having, that's my boy, I said. They said, huh? You know, boy, <laughs> boy, I didn't even talk to them. I said, you don't understand. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband, like, Shh, you're going to be mocked here. If you, you start saying, you know, boy, boy, I mean, shut up. I don't want to be stopped on. <laughs> so I kept quiet. But my whole body language was like, okay, I'm ready. That's my child. He's doing it. And y'all gonna eat it up all day long. And yeah. all night long, too. <laughs> yeah, so when I saw you backstage, I was so shocked. No, I mean, I have to come. I mean, it's the, my, my yeah. schedule is you crazy. You literally made my night, man. You made man, my night. I, I mean, you in Paris, and I'm in Paris, and I don't come. How bad can that be? I mean, talk is cheap. Action is expensive, man. Exactly. You gotta go. I mean, you have to stand for what you 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 you, you believe in. And I, I'm actually, as I, I was I, saying, I'm actually gonna go get that tattoo right there. Talk is cheap. Action is expensive. It right. is true. Like People word. talk all the time. <laughs> People talk on our behalf all the time, not asking us what we think. I'm like, don't talk for me. I have my brain. I can speak for myself. But before we came in here, I was talking to a lot of people and telling them. This, is, this century is the century of African music, at globally. Our music is coming to a step, a stage where we count and nobody can walk away from it. It's, 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 if you like it or not, we're gonna be there. And I wanted to ask you, how do you see the future of the African music? How do we bring it to the realm to keep it all the way up there? And once we leave for the next generation that follow, we can tell them, We've paved the way for you. It's your turn now. I mean, I, f I feel like it's already happening. Like, you know, it's, it's on the right track right now because even the younger ones that are, that are coming up right now, something crazy, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. so, and I mean, I'm very proud and I know it can only go get better. There's no, <laughs> I don't think there's any way we can go backwards at this mm -hmm. point, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Hundred percent. But other than that, there's no way for us to go backwards. No, we can't. Going backward is not in our DNA anyway, so exactly. 
<laughs> we, you, you and I, we are not known for doing things that is backward. We so don't do not, backward. We do. It's not. We do forward and we rise. And we hit and quit. I love it. I just love it. All right, mama. I love you, ma. Me love too. You so much. Be good to yourself. Until I see you again, take care which, of yourself. Which is very and enjoy soon. life. Yes, let's do that. And I, I can't wait to see your mom too. We need to have some conversation about fashion because I've seen your mom. I mean, whipping out the fashion. I'm like, hey, sis, what about me, yo? Don't leave me hanging behind here, man. Count me in. Man, she get, it gets very stressful. She can change like 20 <laughs> to go hey. one place. Well, you know what? We only have yes. one life, buddy. <laughs> you gotta live it now, not after. Well, come on. Most definitely. I right, love you, mama. Love, take care. Uh -huh. Take care. Love everybody. Send a love to all the family and all your fan, mine, and we Most tell definitely. them to keep on, keep, keep on loving our music and following up. You heard ma. You heard my mama. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Love you, brother. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.